Hey guys, and welcome back to part 4 of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I have no idea how long this game is, but we're on part 4 right now, and I feel like we haven't even started the game yet. Like, we did the little prologue section, but I don't know what... I don't know who the enemies are, I don't know what the plot is, I don't know what... I don't know what we're trying to do. I know at some point I might betray Sigurd. I'm hoping that's going to happen in this mission. Uh, because I don't want that to be the overarching theme of the game. I would rather have that happen now, and then maybe the theme can be piecing together my family or something. I don't know. But we're going to get into that and uh, figure out what's going on. So I hope you guys are liking it so far. This game is spectacular. Uh, soundtrack's great. Look at the lighting. I'm going to bask in the morning glow of this game. And uh, yeah, let's go uh, start our quest. I'm sorry I'm taking too long to get to, like, the main quests, and I'm just, like, burying myself in the immersion of the game. Must I know I should just now. do the quest, but, um, but it's so fun. Alright, I'll go see him. The I'll speak with the I could have done now. the hunting thing. Arguably, I should have done that first, but whatever. Yes. It's been a while since I've done a quest. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances, waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed? Do we have any allies to speak of, or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, Never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Cool. Hey, friend. I'm kind of wondering if what's going to happen is if this guy, the king, Ingot's enhanced gear and uh, unlock, I mean, I know that, I've already done the forge thing. Um, I'm wondering if what's going to happen is that uh, he's going to make peace with the guy who killed my parents, and that's going to piss me off, which is totally understandable, on both sides. Like, I would understand why they would want to make peace. And I would also understand why I would be ticked off about it. Like, we need allies, and, uh... But I don't think... 
I don't think my character would appreciate that ally, regardless of how good the diplomacy is. Hey, it's got two hands. It's like I haven't chopped off your arm yet. Ah, look at you, blood so drinker. Have you been worrying without me? Ah, and you. I wonder if by cut off his right hand it means I'm going to kill Dag. Because I think it said in one of the character profiles that Dag, whatever his name was, was Sigurd's uh, right hand man. So I wonder if it was being a little metaphorical about it. And riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagard, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eva. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see I don't know father. why I didn't piece this together in the last episode. Away. But no, Sigurd's father didn't die. My parents are dead. His father, the king, is perfectly fine. Himself. Which is they suspicious. Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. Mm, I feel like we're both the responsible. It's probably a good uh, diplomatic solution to this. Maybe a little, little bit of assassination. We a uh, little political subterfuge. Stage a coup. Assassinate the current leader. My son, welcome home, uh, father. Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. So I guess it doesn't end now. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horde. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. You can stab me? It'd be weird. How's it going, wife? Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did, and it is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different Ooh. feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband return? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. 
<laughs> I mean, she hasn't had a good uh, a good tumble in the two years. I feel like she shouldn't be turning her nose up just because there are a couple farts. Power through. Python, Come on. Is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of techless meat. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. Okay, I don't know what he's trying to hint at. I feel like I don't trust him. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Oh, King. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornburg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it... I'll, I'll, I'll follow done. your plan you have if you tell me what it you. is. Hmm. That would be nice. <laughs> Take it that you're just not going to tell me anything forever. Well, that seems annoying. It's like, I'm not a peon in your army. I am literally your adopted child. You could you could at least do me the favor of talking to me like a little bit. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. Oh, I am I'm his right you. arm. Likewise, oh, that's why it means I'm going to betray him because I'm his right brother? arm and I'm going to be separated from him. I get it. Some months ago. All right. And and I understand symbolism. But I, I, I passed grade 11 English. With eyes that gleam like his, but always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting, but I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Hagia Sophia, so they would be they would have been all the way down in Turkey? I just I just pieced together when this game has to be taking place. So this is um Viking Age. So we're back in like the mid century, um, around the year one thousand or so. Which means we're actually talking about Oh wait, maybe we're not. When were Vikings a thing? No, around the year zero, right? I don't know. I don't I don't know my history. I'm gonna look it up real fast. Okay, set in eight seventy three AD. So unlike uh Odyssey which took place like four hundred BC and uh, I think uh, Origins took place 40 BC. This is actually 800, 800 AD. So this is more recent than either Origins or Odyssey, but still happens before the first Assassin's Creed game, which happens in the Crusades. So that's interesting. I'm wondering how it's going to tie into the lore. Of the Assassin's Creed franchise. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Is it a dress? That'd be funny. My first night in Fornburg in over two winters. 
It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink. Ah, <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. I just won a drink competition. I should have gone easy on you. You make everything a challenge. This is strong stuff. I should have gone easy on you. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods. You should have let me start! Ooh, there's some, uh, lip-syncing issues here. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a heart longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. I'm wondering These if they're Templars. My shepherds through much of their homeland. The Templars. Sorry. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Is that a hidden blade? For the finest warrior I know. <laughs> Hatham does look offended. I, I sh I'll bring it up. I'm not going to dance around it. It seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and and training. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please. If I mean I have to cut off my uh, ring finger. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from the target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. Yeah, they're missing their ring finger. I like it. <laughs> I just have mine on the top so it doesn't cut off my finger. That's so funny. I didn't know- I, for, I can't believe I didn't notice that they were both missing their ring fingers. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. So canonically in Assassin's Creed, uh, up until uh, the time of Ezio, um, all the assassins were missing their ring fingers because that's where the hidden blade comes out. And it's kind of unavoidable that over time it will just chop your finger off so they just do it anyways. Um, and then after Ezio's time in Assassin's Creed 2, they found ways of uh, getting the technology to work so it wouldn't cut off your finger. But this following along with the lore happening about 500, 600 years before that. Here, so. let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielding cool. with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Press R1 to initiate an assassination when undetected. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Some targets are more resistant than others and cannot be assassinated if their power is overwhelming. A decent attempt. Any tips on how to deal with that? Take that one down from the ledge. Uh, roger that. Assassinations can be attempted while hanging from a ledge. Oh, sorry, buddy. How do I go down? That's it. I feel like they haven't updated the animation since like Assassin's Creed 2. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. 
How is that a challenge? Assassination is going to be attempted from above the target. It's pretty standard Assassin's Creed. We good? Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Hytham. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. I love your scimitars. Can I have one of those? Or scimitars? Hey, I don't know how, how you say Let it. Us walk to the docks or swords. And take in the night oh, cool. Are we flirting? What do you make thing? of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning to. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join the Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Aivor. Tonight we are family again. The here what happened now to your sword? Matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. <laughs> Am I the only one who saw a sword in his back, like... Half a cutscene ago, and it just disappeared. Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. And reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I mean, it's bold, you. but maybe we should Only talk to your dad first. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. That seems reckless. Didn't I just promise his dad not to do this? I guess the game doesn't care that I promised that. <laughs> I want to win through diplomacy and poison. Always poison. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be wrong. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Uh. You will betray Sigurd. I like how I'm sleeping with the hidden blade on. I feel like my uh, my adopted father absolutely is trying to make peace with them. That's why they're here. Uh, headshot damage. I'm gonna get that, and I'm gonna get the stealth recon. Oh wow, that's cool. So when you get the big one, you can see all the trees. What if I take it back? I still have the tree. I still can see it. Okay. Cool. Alright. This one would not have come alone. I should find the others. Use your raven to locate quest objectives. You got it, game. Be my eyes, Sunin. So I absolutely don't see any warriors. I do see a mountain. Oh, hello. Is that these guys?
I don't know what this hide show panel is doing. You know, I really can't figure out uh, how to use the raven. I'm trying my best, guys. Like, I understood how it worked in the old game. But... Honestly, it can offer life for me to tell what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And unless the whole point is to just see that it's that way. I'm gonna grab... Do I need my horse? It's not really that far. I'm just gonna run. Like, it's just up this hill, right? Hey, uh, citizen, don't worry about it. I'm just, uh, gonna murder someone on a mountain, like people do. I feel like I have to be doing it wrong, because if I did it... If I did it right, I feel like there would be a marker on my map or something. I have no idea. I'm just gonna scramble up this hill. Wait a sec. Odin site highlights nearby enemies, quest objectives, and some other stuff. Whistling. Stealthily taking down opponents one at a time can be the best course of action. Reveal enemies using Odin Sight when in proximity in a hidden space. Attract them by using the key I use for mount to whistle. What's on this way? Stop. Going to split you. Totally hit the wrong button there, but must know about this. That's fine. Tell me what you see and how many ships, warrior supplies. Also note visits from Jarls and other important people. Learn what you can report back to me directly. Kjotve. Alright, reach Sigurd. Is Sigurd gonna get assassinated? That'd be weird. How do I get down? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying not to like die by falling down a mountain. That'd be such a silly way to take a death. In real life and in the game. I'm gonna kill you, Scarecrow. Grow stronger. I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your father. Heed my warnings or be off. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save her. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I return the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. I really we feel like the king is kind of incompetent. Wailing village under Chotve's control. We hit him there. I feel like it's Burn trying to set it up that he has some master plan, but he just really seems yes, incompetent. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. It's good to see the assassins back in Assassin's Creed. Like, Odyssey didn't have any assassins in it whatsoever. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Um, 
And Assassin's Creed Origins was about the beginning of the Assassins. Um, so this is the first game we've had in a long time which actually has focused on... Oh, it has included actual Assassins in it. Let's That's get out cool. of here. Come on, team. Let's go. I like to have my little crew. Can't raise the sail yet. I know how I would feel about the crew before, but now that I have them. Open the sail to navigate faster. Wondering if I should ever see home again. I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time. To see Kirkbess and afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck. I think they're bringing back uh, shanties because of how popular uh, Assassin's Creed 4 was, where uh, shanties were a huge part of what got real popular. And there are some ones that people know Black Flag so well that they still remember a, a lot of the shanties from that game. And uh, I think they're trying to bring them back in this game, but I feel like the Viking songs are like a big old meh compared to. You know these isles best, Bukist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Compared to, like I, I don't, I'm not expecting any good shanties to come out of this game, but we can hope, right? Stevian did not trust fate with both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Oh, we could have docked over there. Do you guys want to do a cheeky little raid? Uh, how far are we going? We're going to here. I, I am wondering if this is the entire map. It's a pretty huge area. And that's suggested power 280. So this is probably the whole map. But... Uh, um... It feels a lot smaller than the last game, though. I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying it's interesting, considering how big of a game they made last time, that they would choose to make it. Let's hear a sail down. In the early days of the feud between Kiotve, the crew, and the Red Sail. There was a map. We'll pick up from there. All right, let's read, boys. I've just really got stuck on that log. Alright, give my arrow. Oh, I'm not using that stun attack as much as I could be. Okay, so it didn't tell you, but you could actually cycle between your locked targets. Pretty cool. I don't think we actually had much of a welcome. Um, so it's fun pillage. We don't appear to have much. And I don't even have arrows anymore, so. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. I'm not sure how to get in here. Maybe it's on the top? I'm just gonna keep running around this house in like five loops until I find a way in. Okay, come now. There's, there is an entrance to this.
I don't know what's with that horn. I don't know if I should be intimidated or not. Um. The other side must be barred. Something I'm not seeing? The well? Um. Look, there's gotta be a way in, right? Maybe I just have to back up a little bit. Doing really wide, really wide loops around it. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a way. I can see no way in. Oh, maybe my heavy attack. I, like, never use the heavy attack. But apparently the heavy attack... Okay, there we go. I can hit stuff. Okay, back up, guys. I can really scratch that barrel. I literally have no idea. Barred from all the sides, there's no way on the roof. Oh, here it is. There we go. That took me way too long to figure out. Here we go. At least there's lots of treasure, right? Probably gonna be totally not worthwhile, but I feel smart that I finally figured out. Oh, there's multiple chests in here. I like how my uh, uh, new assassin friends just kind of like walked in. They're like, "Yeah, it was the uh, it was super obvious, man." All right. Successfully looted. Let's get out of here. This area feels restricted. I feel very unwelcome here. Is my crew just on the boat? <laughs> They're like, yeah, what took you so long? Are you trying to figure a way into a house? A wooden house? How could I ever have gotten into a wooden house with an axe? Come on, it's like practically impossible. It's got a story. The story I have not told the man, for it happened only last month. I was sharing a mead horn with a beautiful woman. When she, oh, it's clearly a lie. She, her sisters, and her mother all begged for your hand in marriage. <laughs> Is that how this tale ends? Uh, uh, yes. Were you, were you there? <laughs> <laughs> I love how everyone's laughing at him. Tell me a story. In my youth, I remember hearing the story of Culver, Here's young woman whose father forbade her from swordplay and rage. This definitely the story on the boat thing really reminds me of God of War, and I feel like that's what they're referencing, where you get Mimir's tales if you like kind of see her sail around. Culver's father forbade her to leave, calling her soft and weak and fragile. But Culver ignored these insults and left. For a full spring, I feel like it's a little irresponsible for us to like be docking at uh, my enemy spot, but screw him. We're not gonna be subtle at all. Yeah, you guys can swim. I'm gonna not do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I can't believe I missed. I need to get more arrows. Alright guys, I think I've done enough time with the uh, sword and shield. I haven't really used the shield all that much to be honest. Hold down to equip a torch. L2 to aim and R2 to throw it. Oh, I'm trying to blow this up, aren't I? Oh crap. Who did that? I got it. Oh, that's bad aim. I don't have a lot of arrows. Alright. Alright, some more arrows for me. Nice. I feel like I really need to turn combat difficulty up. Uh, something's 130 meters that way. I'm just gonna let my team handle it. They, they seem like uh, very accomplished individuals. I'm gonna handle the looting and pillaging. I wanna burn that guy's tent down. Screw him. Thinks he can afford something nice when he's my enemy. Uh, 90 meters till something. Come on, you guys don't even have a shield. I feel like I remember the combat in both Origins and Odyssey being way harder than this. I don't know if they deliberately kind of nerfed it. Whoa! Uncool, home skillet. Roll! Roll! I'm not sure if rolling actually helped in any way, but I felt like something that would help. Okay, 50 meters. Oh, crap. So door is barred from the other side. We've done this riddle before. We can figure it out. Jump over. Collect book of knowledge. Throwing axe fury. Okay. Abilities are learned through books of knowledge. They are powerful fighting moves that can be used during the battle at a cost of adrenaline. Some abilities focus on melee. Others provide ranged abilities. Up to eight abilities can be assigned at once. That's wild. Um... When you find a second book of knowledge with the same ability, the ability is automatically improved. To find more books of knowledge to explore the world's rich wealth in each territory, books are often heavily guarded in monasteries or military camps. Cool, so I got this one, Throwing Axe Fury level 1. I shall assign that to a button. I don't know. Triangle. I have no idea how to use that. Hold R, gain R2, and then, okay, so I have to R2 to activate it. I get it. All right, easy peasy. I'm, I'm working on it, pal. I got super cool abilities. What have you guys been doing? Have you guys just been running around collecting loot? Because that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Lord, those 
Oh, stop being such a whiner. Man, my, my aim has gotten way worse. Absolutely missed. I know who did that, but good job. Cool, good job, team. I can take some ships. Um, do I have to run or do I fight to fight the ships? Uh, reach Sigurd. I feel like Sigurd would want to fight the ships. Oh, I have no uh, health potions. Um, that's unfortunate. I have been taking a fair amount of hits. Hold down and select ship to call your long ship. Why would I call my long ship when I'm not at the water? That doesn't really make sense. Maybe I should have done it. I don't know. It seemed like it seemed nonsensical to me. Hail Raventland! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold. Your hairstyle is from the wrong I century. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. Nice. Uncanny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kyrtwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Uh, I'm gonna be nice. Man who wishes I'm to not gonna provoke him. Kjotve is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help. But I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? Yes. It is. Many winters ago, Chatbe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kötve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. It's very noble of him. Our men will gather at Flord, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Thanks, bro. Give us a hand. Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good I kind of feel like it's a really complicated out. trap that I don't understand. 
Because as, as he pointed out rightly, what 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 is he to gain by giving troops to my cause? We're not giving him anything, as far as I know. Right, that's not good diplomacy. Good diplomacy is negotiation. This doesn't seem like a negotiation so far. Seems like generosity. I'm dubious of generosity. Where are my sailors at? Get on board. Is that guy with me? This guy seems like he just needs to wash himself. Alright, I guess we're uh, setting sail. Need to row our way out. Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to end the episode. Uh, we're going to leave it here. And I think we're finally getting into the main theme of the th uh, game. I think the first act at least is going to be about uh finding finding that guy whose name i keep forgetting Kocha, and we're gonna kill him and everything's gonna go great and i see absolutely nothing possibly going wrong because when has anything ever gone wrong in assassin's creed first act so that's gonna be it he's gonna be our first uh big kill first big leader that we're gonna have to assassinate and then we're going to find our way on to the main story from there. So, I hope you guys are having fun. I'm enjoying the game so far. It seems like it's going to be very, very long. But what do I know? I don't. I have literally no concept for how long this game is going to be. Uh, but it's pretty fun so far. And in the next episode, I promised it for a while. And I'm definitely going to do it. Uh, we're going to put the shield away. Because who needs a shield when you can just have two axes? And so we're going to go to a double axe, and we're going to axe them while we axe them. And it's going to be...